think, top of their game already. I think it's going to revive, uh, like, it's going to, we're going to see a, the drive in revival uh, come yeah. in these next That's couple so of years. That's so funny. We're going to see the, the movie theater industry kind of at an all time yeah. low. And then, you know, uh, drive ins hit yeah. a peak. And, and go crazy. Yeah. That's a cool Why name, not? too, the drive in revival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then I have one last bit of news, which is kind of bonkers out of left field. And I thought it was really funny because it's fucking funny to me. Uh, so there's a report out of uh, Florida, of course. A uh, man sneaks into Disney World and stays in an abandoned part of the tropical paradise. And says when he gets caught that he is self quarantining in the abandoned <laughs> part of, of Disneyland. Too. So, Smart guy. The, yeah, the dude had the right idea, and uh, I guess he stayed there for like three or four days, and um, he locked himself in like a uh, auditorium room that was abandoned. How did they and, find uh, out? How did they find him? They saw him through helicopter surveillance, and I guess heat seeking. Um, they saw him in one of the buildings. Oh wow! And uh, his excuse was he wanted to get away from everybody, and he didn't care the helicopters because he had headphones on. So, <laughs> oh my god! I thought that was fucking genius, dude. I'd fucking quarantine myself in Disneyland. <laughs> How amazing would that be, though? Just to stroll around the park, fucking dude. sick. That would be sick, but also creepy. creepy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, nothing's on, especially at night. Oh. J- James, yeah. did you get the yeah. did you get that leak? By some light. The link that I sent you the other was it yesterday? Of uh, like oh, with, uh, Disneyland, like in the fifties. Yeah. Oh my god, they look so creepy. Wow. The mascot. Yeah, the, the mascots. The mascots cre- and stuff. Creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Are they used to make them? Yeah. <laughs> you know, a creepy. A creepy fact about Disneyland is they never turn off. It's a small world, so right now it's still on, dude. Like just playing. They just don't turn it off. Yeah, it's just oh, wow. keeps on playing forever. It's as creepy as ever. It's playing yeah, for a while. Legend has it, if you turn it off, the kids turn back to real people, dude, and they walk away. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not nah, to tell you. Uh, the spirits of little Cause, children. Because I know yeah. they reopened the Singapore uh, Disneyland. Really? Yeah. Like yeah, downtown Disney area? Or? No, Singapore? The Singapore one? What is that? I, dude, Disneyland? I haven't been to Disneyland in fucking so long. <laughs> the what is Disneyland Singapore? in Singapore. The oh, Singapore. 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 <laughs> oh, shit. I thought you were like Singapore, like it was a movie <laughs> I, I theater. Don't worry about it. Singapore, way. He said Singapore. <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. They Why would they reopen Disney in Singapore? No way, dude. That's nuts, man. But anyways, that's the last of my news. Uh, I think I'm going to pass it over to Onaris if you have some news, bro. All right. Um, I also got bits of random pieces of news that I picked out. Um, supposedly, I got some video game news. I got video game news. Um, <laughs> the whole entire, supposedly, The Last of Us 2 game has been leaked, dude, on the internet. Wow. And... This is already like I'm seeing comments about this shit. It's like people already. It's already, it sounds like it's already hurting the sales from the spoilers. I'm well, gonna say this for anybody. What what was it? Um, uh, it was a disgruntled ex um, employee for Naughty Dog. Yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. Wow. They released a bunch of key uh, cutscenes and and things that obviously valid plot points that you don't want to know yet. Which yeah, is dude. unfortunate, but I didn't I didn't see any of that shit, so I'm still gonna buy I it. I saw small stuff, maybe they're lies, but hopefully they're lies more than their truth. Um, I'm still gonna probably buy it, dude. I don't, uh, it's not gonna stop me from buying it. It also comes uh, out next month, uh, like mid next month, so. Yeah, dude, so we'll, let's see how this goes for that game, dude. And Vic's most likely gonna see me play this shit. Yeah, I like watching them. Yeah, dude, so it's gonna be fun still. Like, I don't know what makes people like think this would be fun for them. Yeah. For the spoilers, um, if anyone cares about that game, it's very dope, apocalyptic stuff, dude. Check it out. And it was um, and it, a, a disgruntled ex employee from Naughty Dog, yeah. which is the studios that mm-hmm. put out that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Wow, that's crazy. Shout out to Crash like Bandicoot. What was that? Hey. <laughs> Shout out to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> the, the reboot. The what about Uncharted, one? dude? Uncharted, sick as fuck. Oh yeah. That's old school though, fucking Crash Bandicoot. 
Uh, and then I got some more news. Um, did we already talk about fucking Tiger King movie with Nicolas Cage? Dude? Oh no. My God, no. What? Yeah, he's no, officially no. he's officially no. cast about that, as man. Joe Exotic. Holy shit! <laughs> Tell me. Uh, I I think he would do good. I haven't seen any of the. I know all about the series because everybody talks about it. And I've seen bits and pieces of him. Yeah. I think he can play this bonkers role, dude, because it's... I think he wants to. Yeah, I don't know. I think it would fit know. him, dude. What do you guys think? He is crazy. Joe Exotic sucks, though, man. Well, was, I mean... It was made for... It was made for, for Cage, bro. <laughs> cage. Rage Cage. Have rage you seen cage. when he's, like, when he's, like, walking around in, in public in his, like, leather, like, like snakeskin is he already like, Joe suits? Exotic or what? No, he looks yeah. like him without like I've the handlebar mustache. Yeah, I've seen him with the the fucking uh, cowboy hat and the and the like a leather like a jacket or some shit. But I thought but it that's was what he, that's what he wears on like a regular day going through Hollywood. And that's cool. Then he probably fits the role perfectly. Like, there's no doubt about it. And Hollywood's mine either. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Somebody saw him and was like, "Hey, that's Joe Exotic." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I got some other news. I got some like <laughs> deeper news. Uh, supposedly the the guys from Duck Dynasty had their shot, their house shot at, dude. What? Yeah, dude. And there was a baby inside. And was there anybody a- hurt in the Duck Dynasty guys, or they just got shot at? The they house? just got shot at though, and there was just like more like more innocent people inside, like babies. That's that seems, wow. that seems that seems kind of weird, like out in left field. Like why the duck dynasty dudes? Like are yeah, they those guys have been uh, out of the loop for like like are they even years? relevant you know anymore? What I mean? <laughs> like shit. Like what else what are they supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> they're pub- they're they're public duck duck like, hell yeah, we're gonna this is gonna revive our careers. <laughs> That's like that's like somebody like oh they shot up Tim P- Tiffany Amber Thiessen like who like wh- <laughs> why you know? Like, God damn, we're going that far. Ooh, you're yeah. reaching, bro. You're reaching at this point. <laughs> they shot Kelly Kapowski, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then uh, I got some. Um, I think this is coming from. I don't. Know, I should probably even say it's a spoiler, or maybe it couldn't even be a spoiler. But supposedly in the. The, is it the Batwoman series that there's hints of a Batman who starts killing not like the Justice League one but he starts killing and goes off radar and starts like this is like hints to a comic series called The Batman Who Laughs and mm. totally like there might so fresh, they got huh? hints to it maybe they can bring it in a bit like the theater <clears throat> but when, during these times maybe not but it's in definitely probably in play I heard did, you see, uh, did you see the stills from um, the villain Hush in the Batwoman series? No, no. Uh, it no. looks so shitty. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah. It's like the, the 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 villain's uh, mask is basically it's just bandages, oh, and, really? and it's just bandages covered up on their face, and they wear a trench coat, uh-huh. and it's Batman's villain. But in the, in the, if you look up the the stills of it, the, the person, it's definitely like a mask that's like too big for their face. Oh, it makes their head look like it. like they're calling oh, yeah. it like paper paper mache man because it looks oh, wow. like it's made out of paper mache. It just looks so bad. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Anyway, it's okay. I like you guys' <laughs> feedback on my news. So uh, I, I got anyone else? Guys? Okay. So. Uh, no. I got some. Oh, I think I I thought I heard you say something. Uh, I was just gonna say real quick, James. Did you know um, that Zack Snyder recently said that in uh, BVS, I guess Batman really doesn't kill anyone, or he justified. He was like, "Oh yeah, I just didn't show those guys. I just didn't show those guys stand up, but they're not dead or whatever." Yeah, remember? Didn't I? Didn't I? uh, Didn't I? I I wrote you that or something. Maybe. I know one of his streams. He was like. (laughs) He was like, yeah, he's like, he never kills anybody. He's like, those guys that get blown up, he's like, they just, off camera, they get up, and they're fine. They're perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. the guys who got caught on fire, yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. They just got up and walked <laughs> back to their, their their headquarters. Yeah, he's like, watching people's stuff, dude. Like, yay. Batman's a killer, dude. He kills people. <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> Bruce Wayne has blood on his hands, dude. After yeah. a while, he does. You've seen the video sure. game, right? Like, he bashes Arkham City. Yeah, the Arkham <laughs> yeah. City video game. He does, like, a full-on drop kick from, like, 
the biggest building. <laughs> like, from, like, he, he, from like three stories down. <laughs> and and that guy's head. knocked out. He only broke like his shoulder. Like, yeah, he, he breaks people's faces in that game, dude. And legs and arms, too. <laughs> uh, uh, I got some other news. I think, it, I think this is my last one. Or my second to last one. Uh, supposedly, The Rise of Skywalker was supposed to come out on May 4th already. And I don't know if this is true. I haven't got, I checked my Disney Plus in a while. So, if anyone could confirm this. I don't yeah, know. They, they did, they did yeah. pop it on Disney Plus. Oh, oh, awesome. So, I can now show it to Vic. I don't know if he wants to see it. Maybe. Um, yeah. We can get on that. So, that's some good news. And then, my other bit of news is Julie Andrews. The, I think she's the queen from The Princess Diaries. Mm. All right, is she the queen for the princess? Wants to get the third one on the way too. <laughs> what? Well, that's, for the girls are like princess. that's crazy. I'm like, crazy out there. she needs to come back as Mary Poppins, son. Yeah, I made that too. <laughs> oh boy, I everything like can get underway soon. I just want all this cool shit that people are thinking of now during these times to come true. And that's my last bit of news, fellas. Nice. Nice. Wesley. Wes, what do you got? All right. Uh, I got three pieces. We'll start with, um, we got a new look at Tom Hardy via social media in character as Al Capone for the new film, which is also called Capone. The film was directed by Josh Trank, who helmed Chronicle and the ill-fated Fantastic Four from a few years ago. Hmm. Um... The film is set to drop on VOD May 12th. Um, was it Ryan Johnson, who uh, who is the director of Knives Out, which is an amazing film, has actually screened this already and said that it's uh, batshit crazy in the best possible way, and he recommends all of us to go check it out. Uh, I'm going to check it out on the merit of Tom Hardy alone, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope uh, it's like some Brunson stuff, bro. Alfie Solomon, bro. Yeah, I saw the trailer for it, dude. It looked pretty dope. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be towards the uh, the tail end of his life when he's already um, about or about to go to prison while and whilst in prison. So that'll be interesting because I know he went a bit crazy, you know. But I liked how he was depicted in uh, yeah. in uh, Boardwalk Empire as well. So, mm-hmm. so what were you going to say? Was he, um, I was going to say, did he put on weight for the role or was that all like prosthetics? or Because he was kind of bigger in that movie or in that trailer it's kind of like a bodysuit bodysuit no like I, I don't even... i don't know man because he's kind of a method actor where he'll put on he'll put he on put weight. weight and put it off dude he's yeah. very good at that like uh like bane, I mean, he looks bane. Like, like a good chubby looking guy too man <laughs> yeah just like um i don't know if you guys have seen anybody seen lawless yeah yes so if you watch Lawless, uh, you'll notice uh, throughout the whole film he's totally covered up. He's he ha- he's buttoned all the way up to his his neck, and that's because he was putting on weight specifically for Bane. So they had to hide his uh, his his body as much as they could, or whatever. There's a bonus mm, okay. bonus fact for you guys. Yeah, right yeah he was he was pretty. Yeah, he was pretty big as Bane too. That's true. He was pretty thick. <laughs> 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 dude at, at the end of the that fight in the in the city when he just fucking hits that wall and the fucking wall like breaks like a big ass chunk <laughs> yeah. breaks off yeah. you know what i'm talking about yeah that shit's crazy Wait, he hits the, the, like the pillar right <laughs> yeah yeah i was like i was like i thought this was supposed to be realistic but god damn they gave this one like extra strength i was like like I'm pretty sure he would not have his arm, or his fucking knuckles <laughs> would be broken or some shit. I was like, I was like, where's the spinach? The spinach bucket at? He's mm-hmm. like, felt like Popeye and shit, bro. Popeye the Bane man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Luis Leterrier, director of the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance show for Netflix, is being considered for Bright 2, which will uh, see the return of Will Smith and Joe Edgerton reprising their roles for the uh, 2017 film. I'm I'm actually super excited for that. Um, 
I, I guess I'm in the, the small circle of people who actually enjoyed Bright. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. I like the their take on it, kind of uh, intertwining.